Hello and welcome to another TA Tech Tip. In this tech tip, we'll be discussing how to set up the TA Instruments Powder Rheology Flow Cell. The powder flow cell is used for flow testing, which measures the bulk behavior of powder in motion. Confined and unconfined flow are both measured. Confined flow corresponds to powder flowing under compressive conditions, and unconfined flow corresponds to the flow of loose powder under non-compressive conditions. The flow cell accessory consists of the pedestal, cup, impeller rotor, trim slide, trim funnel, and catch tray. The catch tray is placed around the pedestal to catch powder for easy cleanup. The powder accessory is easily interchangeable with other smart swap accessories. Press the release button to swap the accessories. The flow cell cup is secured to the pedestal with two set screws. The trim slide is placed over the cup and tightened with the bottom thumb screw. The trim funnel is then placed flush with the trim slide and secured with the top thumb screw. The geometry is loaded by pushing it up the spindle and screwing the draw rod finger tight. With smart swap enabled and showing a green check mark, the geometry label is read and the new geometry wizard starts automatically. Review the parameters and click next and finally click finish. Next, perform the geometry inertia, friction, and rotational mapping calibrations. The geometry inertia calibration is used to correct for the non-zero geometry moment of inertia. The friction calibration is used to correct for residual friction. Rotational mapping maps small variations in behavior around one revolution of the shaft. Finally, zero the gap. Additional information is available in the help. To set up a powder flow test, navigate to the experiment tab in TRIOS. Select powder in the test type drop-down menu. This type of test will only be displayed if a powder geometry is installed. The first step is powder flow conditioning, and the second step is powder flow ability. The conditioning step is used to provide a well-defined, loosely packed initial condition. Conditioning is achieved by stirring the powder downwards and then upwards at a set tip speed. The powder flow ability step performs measurements of both unconfined flow, raising the rotor upwards through the powder, and confined flow, driving the rotor down into the powder with a conditioning step between measurements. Multiple repeats of this sequence are typically used to evaluate powder stability. To measure flowability at different rates, add a duplicate powder flowability step and enter the desired tip speed. Powder is loaded into the cell above the cup, but below the top neck of the funnel, thus ensuring that the powder is neither underfilled nor overfilled. Start the test from the instrument or from the software. After the conditioning step is complete, Follow the prompt on the rheometer screen or in the TRIO software and trim the sample. Loosen the upper set screw and slide the funnel, removing excess powder and depositing it in the collection cup. After trimming, return the funnel to the testing cup and secure it by tightening the set screw. Press OK on the touch screen or in the TRIO software to move on to the measurement. The rheometer will then perform a series of unconfined and confined flow measurements on the powder sample as defined in the test procedure. In this tech tip, we have discussed setting up the powder rheology flow cell. For additional information, you may reach out to our rheology helpline. Please stay tuned for more helpful TA tech tips and thank you for your interest.